What is up ninjas? We are back at the safe house. We just returned from Utah, exactly where the lie detector guy told us not to go. Whoops. But yeah, I'm really glad we went because we got a really strange text message from Project Zorgo and we met up with a ton of other YouTubers. And they all got the same exact text message too. It was really weird. We all got assigned a different symbol that we had to figure out and we think we figured everything out across all of our channels. We think we know what the doomsday date is gonna be. So definitely something really bad is going to happen. And we also need to watch out for the lie detector guy, Daniel, because we think he's after us now. Yeah, because we watched the video of him, and at the end of the video, he like grabbed this ninja weapon. Yeah, like he, he was going after us. Yeah, or something. and then now he's like after us with the ninja weapon. I don't know. We've got ninja weapons here, so we're ready. If he shows up, we're gonna be looking out the window. So help us keep an eye out for him, guys. Wait, I think I see something out the window, V. Let me see. Okay. So this is where Daniel, the lie detector guy, would be coming through. I don't see him yet, I thought I saw something, but we're gonna use the yellow to figure out what the date is. Then later we're gonna figure out what the doomsday date password is. We're gonna use pink for that. We're gonna watch the Project Zorgo video right now where he tells us what the date is. We have to decipher it. The doomsday date has been set. That date is down. Down. Coffee. Coffee. Light bulb. Light bulb. Footprint. Footprint. Kick bump. Anger. Anger symbol. Arr. He's so angry. <laughs> Envelope. Envelope. Glasses. Glasses. Flashlight. 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 All right, so we've got the entire doomsday date and all of these symbols right there. You ready to figure out what these mean, V? Uh, yes, I already know what mine means. That's right, you had the flashlight. Mm -hmm. So in your video, what happened? All these crazy things happen. The number eight keeps popping up everywhere. So I think flashlight equals the number, whoops, the letter eight. The letter eight? I mean the number eight. <laughs> <laughs> you had it right the first time. I know I did. Eight. eight. Flashlight equals eight. Okay, okay, so we've got one of many. So I got the anger symbol, which is this one right here. And in my video, I kept seeing a ton of twos popping up everywhere. Oh, and then at the very end of the video, we found a note that says, I'm angry two, and it's spelt T-W-O. Anger equals two. Okay, so two and eight. Can you guys solve it? Leave a comment below if you think you know. <laughs> That's kind of impossible. We have, we need more clues. We were all assigned a symbol to figure out what the doomsday date password is. So if we can figure out what the password is, I think we can figure out what the doomsday date is. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we are gonna call Rebecca Zamolo and Matt Slays to see what their symbols equals. Hey what guys. is up hey guys? guys? Guys, what happened to you guys in Utah? We were searching in the middle of trying to find well, I got a flashlight for my symbol. What did you guys get? So I got a club symbol, like a car, the club sign. What I ended up finding it, I found it in an abandoned tree house, and it was like a piece of paper, and it said that the club equaled R. R. Oh. Oh. Okay. Did you get a symbol too, Matt? Yeah, I actually found the symbol on the inside of my glasses. What's weird is how did they get his glasses? Whoa. Do you sleep with your glasses on or off? No, I never sleep with my glasses on. That's like the only time that I take it off, which means that somebody had to sneak into our bedroom at night. Wow. So I think with you guys solving what your symbols equal, that's gonna really help us. So we're gonna go work on that right now. All right. All right, All right. All right. see ya. Bye. All right, since we know that the anger symbol equals two, I put that here on the pink, because that's part of the password as well, according to Project Zergo. And then also the flashlight, V, you had the flashlight, then the eight. So we don't still don't know the order of the password. Password. All right, so Rebecca had the club, and she hers was an R, so we know that that's part of the password. Matt, his was glasses. I drew a pair of glasses right here. His was number one, right here in the password. Not only was glasses part of the password, glasses were part of the doomsday date. It's right there. So now we know glasses number one. All right, guys, we're getting closer to figuring out this doomsday date. I think I know what this is, I'll leave it up to you guys to see if you think of the same thing that I'm thinking of. Okay, so I know Carter also got the same text message that we got from Project Zorgo, and he was told to figure out what the envelope equals. Yeah, so I see that Carter, he went into the treehouse too, just like us. Mm -hmm. Oh, the TV. It's it did the same thing to us, it was glitching on us. Yeah, but it didn't, it didn't show us this. It's almost like they knew who was going into the treehouse. It just glitched like a, a showed an envelope. Uh-huh. And then it also showed a zero. Yeah. Carter discovered that the envelope 
equaled zero. Let's add that to the password down here. And the envelope was also part of the doomsday date. Dun, dun, dun. That is what I thought it was. 2018. So we know the doomsday date is for sure happening in 2018. Now I know a lot of you guys thought the doomsday date was gonna actually be at CVX. A bunch of you were commenting like, doomsday date is CVX, it's CVX live. I, obviously it's not that because nothing bad happened. The doomsday date is still coming in the future yet. All right, so let's watch Steven Scherer's video and see what happens. Hopefully he figured out what the right symbol arrow equals. What was that? Did you hear that? Did you hear, wait, did you hear that? Wait, wait, the, the door is open. Did someone just open the door? That's really weird. Let me see, is anybody out here? That's, I don't see. Huh. Yeah, that was really weird how the door just opened like that. I thought maybe it was Daniel, the lie detector guy, but yeah. I didn't see anybody, so. Right. Anyway, so we were watching Steven's video, and it, so it looks like right arrow equals east is what he thought. Yeah. Meant. And I guess that makes sense, because east is to the right. So I he, think he just assumed that it means E? Yeah, that's what he said. And that seems to make sense. Let's put this onto the password. Actually, a bunch of you guys went onto my Instagram and sent me a DM saying that Lizzie got a heart in her video and it actually means the letter K. Oh, so that's is? really oh. interesting. K, okay, okay. Thanks to all of you ninjas for following us on Instagram and sending us clues. It's super helpful. If you guys want to follow us, it's at Chad Wild Clay and at V Quaint. So after this video, go follow us there. All right, let's put this on the board. Okay, this is looking like a really funky password so far. Yeah, but I guess passwords are usually gonna be funky. The trickier yeah. the password, the harder it is. And I think we don't know what the order is yet, so this might have to be rearranged into a different order. So Carl and Ginger, they were assigned a nose symbol. Okay, so they were smelling something really, really bad. Ooh, I'm, I'm kinda glad I didn't get this symbol. Yeah. Cause I, oh. And it brought them to this abandoned shack looking thing. Okay, so and then inside, they found a piece of paper with a nose on it. Oh. Oh! They flipped it upside down and it became a T. So nose equals, equals T. T. All right. Okay. So a bunch of you guys have been leaving us comments that you watched Ninja Kids video. They got a coffee cup or a coffee mug. Yeah, it's kind of weird because like they're all a bunch of little kids and they yeah, got coffee cups. They don't drink coffee. No, they, they can't, so. They figured out that that equals the letter O. Oh. 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 Mm. oh. Adding to the password. Now, this is great because I'm so glad they figured that out. There's a coffee cup in the doomsday date as well. So now that we know, part of the doomsday date includes the letter O. So if the Ninja Kids found the coffee cup equals old, remember V that you found a coffee cup in your video as yeah, well? Yeah, it was really strange. Do you think my coffee cup also equals O? Yeah, there's gotta be another O, V. I'm gonna put another O way over here. So what could this be? Blank, O, oh, blank, blank, 2018. Guys, we need your help. Leave a comment below if you have any theories on what date this is. We know for sure it's 2018, but there's an O. Oh, could that be October? But it's the second one, so I don't know. You guys will let us know. You guys are really good at figuring these clues out. Wait, V! I just saw somebody walk by. You see? I don't see it now. You, see, you guys see anything? I thought I saw some, like a shadow or a figure walk by. Yeah, I thought it might be the lie detector guy because I'm pretty sure he's coming back here because he's really mad that we went to Utah when he told us not to and he grabbed that ninja weapon. So let's, let's keep an eye out. But anyway, Marlon, let's go watch Marlon's video, V. Okay guys, Marlon got assigned the hourglass symbol. Mm, let's see yep. what he finds out. Yeah. Oh wait, he found he found an hourglass, like a real hourglass. Oh, okay, so hourglass equals L. Awesome. L, hourglass. Oh yeah, okay, this is a really long password. Holy cow. So it might just be Papa Jake, and I think that might be it. Okay. Actually, no. There was one other YouTuber that got assigned a spade. Remember that? And then, because Project Zorgo just came out with that video where oh, he was angry, yeah. and he said, since this YouTuber, they didn't figure out what spade equals, he deleted all of their subscribers. I know, that was so scary. Oh, man, I feel really bad for that channel. You gotta see what we can do to help them, maybe. Yeah, maybe get their they subscribers. lost all their, uh, yeah, they lost everything. Maybe we should call Papa Jake. Okay, let's call him up. V's got him pulling up right here. 
Oh. What is up, Papa Jake? Hi. I know that we talked to you a few days ago and you had gotten that strange text message as well from Project Zorgo. Yes, so yeah, I got the text and as far as I could tell, the ear is somehow related to the letter C. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Okay, but get this now, all right? I think I know why it's so hard to figure this out. I think that not only is it related to the letter C, but also there's two ears, which means whatever the password could be, must have two C's in it. Ah, uh, so maybe if there's two C's in it, that'll spell a word. Okay, thanks, man. All right. We'll talk so to you soon. Yes. All right, see ya. Papa Jake figured out that the ear symbol equals C, and he's pretty confident that there are gonna be two C's in the password. Okay, wow, that is a big password. Can you even fit that on the camera, V? No, it's so I can't. huge. So I believe that is all the symbols that all the YouTubers got. We've got them all figured out except for the one. We're still missing three here from the doomsday date, so we don't know what that is. Guys, keep your eyes out for this, uh, oh, it looks like a kick bump symbol, but it's a foot symbol, light ball, and a down arrow. But we need to figure out what this password is. So right away, I'm noticing there's numbers in it. I'm gonna take those out. Two, one, zero, and eight. I feel like that's gotta be 2018. So 2018, now we need to figure out what the rest of these spell. Like, um, I'm just gonna start with L. That's the beginning of my mom's name. Probably a vowel, maybe L-O. Maybe C, since there's two of them. Okay, there's two C's. Gotta use one of those soon. Ooh, a K. That spells lock. Yeah, so maybe one of these letters goes in front of lock even, like relock or something. Wait, V, out the window. Come here. It's the lie detector guy. Wait, where, where? He's, he's right behind that pole. See, there he is, there he is. Check it out. And hey, wait, is he wearing is a he? sword? I think, I think I saw that he was wearing a sword. He's got a sword over his shoulder. Oh shoot, V, V. We gotta get ready for him. He's coming with a sword. Okay. I don't know if he's mad at us, so I gotta be ready. All, all right. right, all right. All right, here he comes. Here okay. You ready? I'm ready. Daniel, there you guys are. Where have you guys been? I've been well, looking for you for days. We we went to Utah to, because everyone, all the commenters kept saying that they think the doomsday date is gonna be in Utah. You went to Utah? Yeah. After I specifically told you guys not to go to Utah? Yeah. You still I, went? Yeah, I, I know you didn't want us to go, but 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 it was really important. Everyone thought the doomsday date was gonna happen. It, did, it didn't seem to happen, so. Well, I told you guys not to go because something dangerous was gonna happen. Something must have happened, right? Did well, Zorgo talk to you at all? Yeah, I mean, we all did get a message from Project Zorgo. Everyone got like these text messages. They gave us these like symbols that he wanted us to figure out what the oh. symbols equaled. Yeah, come, come here, I'll show, I'll show you. I'll show you the symbols, come here. Yeah, check it out. So there's this doomsday password right here. So We've been figuring out all the symbols. No, no, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to know that. Dude, we're trying to know. What are you doing, Daniel? Project Zorgo can't find out what that password is. That's why I told you guys not to go. Wait, wait. Project Zorgo's trying to figure out what this password is? Yes, that's the password I changed. I encrypted the password so they can't have Doomsday Date go into effect. And wait, you guys are wait, solving it. Wait, so, so wait, so because in the message it said that PZ1 betrayed us and encrypted the password. Yes, that's me. That was you. Yes. Why don't you guys listen to me? That's why I said don't go to Utah. Well, so wait, so you used all these symbols yes. to encrypt the password. Yes, yes I did. And now that they're watching this, they probably have an idea of what it is. Oh man. Okay, so what happens if they figure out the password? If they figure out the password, they can put Doomsday Date back into effect. And oh man, that's gonna be a horrible day for all of you too. So, so wait, when, when is the Doomsday Date? Do you know? No, I don't know when the Doomsday Date is, no. Cause check this out, we got, I think we're really close. We've almost got the Doomsday Date figured out. Okay, well. Do you, do you know what these symbols equal? No, I don't. I mean, this is good that you guys are figuring this out, but this? Yeah, but don't figure guys, out the password. Yeah, once we figure this out, maybe we can stop it if we figure out the exact date. Maybe, yeah. So, so wait, how do I know I can trust you with all of this stuff? There is one way I can prove myself to you guys, again, uh, you know how your electronics went crazy in your old house? Yeah, yeah, we had to evacuate out of because all the electronics were going crazy. Yeah. yeah, if you guys don't mind, I could take you back to your house and I could show you what happened. And go back to you... the old house? Yeah. We can't go back there. All the electronics started going crazy and it's bugged, there's cameras. And... No, no, no. You get... Okay, you guys have to go back to the old house. I'll show you what happened. You guys don't understand. I'm not quite sure if I should trust Daniel yet, so I want to see some sort of evidence that something actually did happen to our house before going with you all the way back to California. You guys haven't like watched the news or anything? It's been all over the news what happened to your house. We've just been fighting hackers, running away from hackers. We just haven't really been keeping up with the news at all. Oh, or the again. Kardashians. Can you give me some sort of proof that something actually did happen yeah, to I mean, our house? There's records of it all over the internet. I could pull up a, a video. Here's a Los Angeles news segment right here. It took a for yourself. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles.
Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 6 p.m. Whoa. 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 It, it caught on fire? California until disaster struck. Firefighters rushed to the scene. Where Wait, were that's our place the right there? Thing. That's your place right there. Our records show that the house belonged to Chad Wild Clay and V Quaint. Whoa. So that could have been us in the house. Mm -hmm. Good thing we got out of there in time. I wrote those notes with the code word that made all the electrons go crazy so you knew to get out of there. What about like the blowing up part? Did you, no, did you do no. that too? I did not do this. What you're seeing right here, I did not set the house on fire. So yeah, I don't know why you guys don't trust me. Look, this is proof right here. I saved your guys' lives, so. We were lucky enough to get an interview with a nearby neighbor. Yeah, so I was just here a couple days ago walking my dog and then oh. I see... Wait. Dude, like that's... That looks like a member Project of the... Project Zorgel Yeah. Wait, Wait, who is that, Daniel? They're digging through our stuff. Whoa. What? Did he just drop something? Yeah, it looks like he it. noticed the camera and he got scared and just left. All right, you guys should let us know if you saw what the Project Zorgo member just dropped because I can't really see. My eyes aren't that good. Gosh, I don't know. I think we better go there. I don't know though. Guys, give this video a thumbs up if you want us to go back to our old Los Angeles house. Looks like it's burnt down now, but I think there might we might have left a bunch of stuff behind that maybe Project Zorgo's trying to look through or something. So whatever the Project Zorgo member dropped on the mm -hmm. ground, we should really figure out what he dropped. I could take you guys there if you want. You just got be careful. Yeah, let's, go. let's just do it. All right, guys, we have been driving around for about four to five hours now. We are entering the old neighborhood that we used to live Whoa! in. Whoa! Look at this place. <gasps> it's totally like burnt down. They're rebuilding it. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Let's get out and check it out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. We used to live right over here. Yeah, that's, your house yeah, right that's our building right there, you guys. It's like the whole neighborhood got burnt down because of what happened. Yeah. So you're saying Project Zorgo did this? Yeah, Project Zorgo did this. It's almost as if they're not even targeting just YouTubers. Yeah, I think we should probably go in there and see what Project Zorgo was trying to find. I can take the camera if you guys okay, want to start exploring. Go. Oh man, that would have been really bad if we were still here. Man, Daniel, I am really glad that you made all the electronics go crazy and like scared us out of here because if we would have still been here when this happened. I know. Oh see? man, that could have been bad. Yeah, so you guys, you guys definitely trust me now, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, our apartment, they're rebuilding it a lot smaller because ours used to go way back this way. Yeah. And this area. This is where our pool table would have been. Yeah, right here. Yeah, remember all the memories, Chad? We opened so many ninja weapons, spy yeah. gadgets. So wait, many wait good second. memories. Look at in the dirt. Some of the red felt from the pool table is still here. Oh my oh, god. No. Look at that. You can tell it caught on fire. Gosh, are there any more of it? Oh, there's Look at more. That. More felt from the pool table. Oh my gosh, my pool table. Wow, this is all that remains of our pool table. I mean, I, I definitely want to keep this, Chad. Yeah? Just for memories. Memories, okay. Yeah. Wow, I wonder what else of ours is like still buried underneath the rubbles, you know? Oh my gosh, this is the tunnel that the hackers would really? like go into our house. This is what they oh, used yeah. to get in. Oh, it was right gosh, here. You're right, yeah. They would crawl through here. Hey, you would spill yeah, fit in here. Yeah, I used to be able to fit in here. Let's see, see if I can, can still, still fit. fit in here. Yeah, because I remember you crawl oh, yeah. in there. Yeah, then, there's still plenty of room. And then you would crawl up, and then you'd crawl over this way. Remember that? Yeah. And then it would lead you outside. Yeah, I remember when I was working at Project Zorgo, they used to talk about this all the time, about coming inside your house through the tunnel really? all the time. Did you ever go crawl through the no, tunnel? No, they asked me to once, but that's, I mean, that's breaking and entering. I would totally refuse to do something like that. Well, that's good to know that you didn't do anything bad directly to hurt us. Oh. It's so nostalgic being back here. Even in the kitchen, I know we don't really cook or anything. Yeah, but... the kitchen used to be right here. <laughs> remember when I had that $10,000 penny? It was worth $10,000 and I was like, hey, heads or tails? And it fell and it went like right underneath the refrigerator, which would have been like over here or something. Yeah, and now there's a there's staircase? They're putting stairs here, that's weird. Huh. We never had stairs here before. No. Should we see what's up here? Mm. Oops. Nails. Yeah. Wow, yeah, so they're building it like taller this time because when we lived here, there was only one level. We didn't have two levels. Everything is changing. Everything is different. It's not our home anymore. It doesn't look like our home. Wait a second. Remember that news footage that we were watching? There was a hacker in the background and he was digging around. Oh yeah, he we dropped should, yeah. something. We should yeah. we should try to find that spot, see what he was trying to do. Oh yeah, where, where was that? I think that was... Was that in the front of the house or the back of the house? Kind of near the front. It's over this way. Yeah, I think it was right over here. Kind yeah. of near the front of the house. This is kind of where the bathroom used to be. I don't want to like touch anything. Let me use this. Where is it? Wasn't it like kind yeah, of right around here? the hacker was like digging around over oh. at this area. 
Look at that. What is that? Is That's your old toothbrush. This is my old toothbrush, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so dirty now. I can't believe it survived though. It's actually in pretty good condition. I guess I'll touch it because- But wait a second. This is mine. Why would the hackers from Project Zorgo be trying to get your toothbrush? That's just silly. That's like the most worthless thing you could get. Yeah, it's an old toothbrush. It's like Why? a dollar. It was like $1.29, Chad. Oh my gosh. I think I might know. What? So he was putting that in a bag, right? You gotta keep that, okay? Don't Why? let the hackers get a hold of that. Why right. would they want a toothbrush, Daniel? I mean, we, it's super dirty and we, it's used. Remember when you guys were chopping the fruit, I put little hidden notes in the fruit for you guys? And then what did that say when you put oh. it together? It said uh -huh. PZ23 is trying to take DNA evidence. Yes. This is how they're gonna get my DNA? Well, is that yeah. what they were doing? Because that has your saliva on it, so your DNA is on there. Well, we better take this so they don't find it. Yeah, the last week when I was at Project Zorgo, the last thing I heard them saying was that, yeah, their mission was to steal YouTubers' DNA. Because they said once they have the DNA, mm -hmm. they can just impersonate you guys, and then they can easily oh. get your passwords to everything. Oh Social my gosh. security numbers, everything. And they can just be you. That's like on a whole nother level of crime. That's This is serious. very, very, very serious. Yeah. It's not like deleting a YouTube channel. This is yeah. getting too serious. Yeah. We need to stop them, obviously. I'm glad you left them. That's the right thing to do. You can help us take them down because you actually know a lot of information about them. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, guys, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, right over here. I just saw some movement. Wait, V, look. Oh, go, 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 go. All right, guys. I just saw. There he is, there he is. Shh. He's running away now. That was really weird, V. He obviously was looking for something. Yeah. Looking for, like, definitely where my toothbrush was. Yeah, Daniel, did you recognize that guy? I mean, he's wearing a mask, so I can't really tell. Uh, his body shape. I mean, it looks kind of familiar, but I, I, I don't know. Um, you, you don't, you're not, do you know? Do you think it was PZ-23, Yeah, PZ-23. Yeah, PZ it looked like he was trying to look for my toothbrush or something. Yeah. That's what it looked like. I can't tell though, I can't tell. The mask. All right, you guys, comment down below if you think that was PC23 or not, or whichever number yeah. that member, Project Zorgo member was. Yeah, I think we need to look around here some more, and just in case we left some more evidence behind, we should find it before Project Zorgo comes back and finds it. Yeah, let's continue exploring and collect anything that used to belong to us, Yeah. and just scrape this place free. Yeah. I'm not finding anything. V, did you find anything yet? No, I'm trying to lift up all these floorboards, see if there's anything underneath them, and I don't see anything. Daniel, did you find anything? No, not anything important, no. Nothing important? Oh, there's all these weird numbers on the floors. Whoa, whoa, whoa look at this. Look at all these the triangle. triangle. Did Project Zorgo mark this area? Look at those numbers. Well, we used to use those triangles all the time. Just It was kind of just a way to say like Project Zorgo was here, kind of for the other Project Zorgo members, just to know. Oh, okay. okay. So this, this, this location. This so. was your marking to show that you guys have been here. But do you think they are rebuilding this whole entire neighborhood? Is this neighborhood going to be turned into like uh, Project Zorgo? Camp, Project Zorgo building, Project Zorgo neighborhood. Like, what do you Maybe, think? Maybe, I'm not sure. I mean, hopefully it's not for like new residents because this is the perfect opportunity to like install tracking devices in the wall. Yeah, really. They can hide them right in here and then put a wall over it. They won't even know. Okay. Well, we should keep looking around, see if we, can, if we left anything else here. Okay, we're back in this area where the pool table was. Yeah, this is where we spent most of our time. So I feel like this place is a place that we most likely will leave a lot of stuff here. 3.125 times nine times 60. Where's the date? August 20th, 2018. Okay, that's not too long ago. Sure. Is that around the date that the house went crazy and, and burned? Yeah. Maybe this has something to do with it. Were you still with them around this time, Daniel? Whoa, guys, look at this. Check this out. What? What the? Oh! Dude, this is a remnant of the painting that was right here. Guys, oh. you, you do you remember that huge painting that was on the wall and the one that Daniel, you put notes behind that we found? Yeah, that looks just like it. This is it. It looks like it melted a little bit, but. Wow, do you, do you think they can collect anything? Well, I guess our fingerprints could have been on here. So maybe we better just keep this. Yeah, we better keep this so PZ doesn't find it. Let's continue looking some more. This okay. is good, this is good progress. Yeah, yeah we're, fi we're finding things, that's good. Look, look up there, what, is there something? There's like a black box. Oh yeah. Whoa. I'm going to go up there and see if I can grab that. Oh, Wait. Okay. What, what is that you noise? That? 
Is, is that a tracking device? There's so, I hear what? I hear beeping. Yeah. You hear that? I do. I hear that. But I think it's coming from down it here. Something that's coming from down there. Yeah. You, can you guys hear that? That sounds definitely like sounds a, like a digital device. Okay. Oh yeah, there's something underneath the wood. Oh. What is it? Wait, wait, oh my it? gosh! It's Boxer! Boxer! Remember this guy? I mean he's all dirty, but he's still he's still here. <laughs> he's still alive. How the heck did he survive all, everything that happened here? That's crazy. How you doing, buddy? I think he needs some TLC. We're gonna yeah. I'll bring him home and take care of him. Alright. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna go up there and try to see what's inside of that box, okay guys? Why don't right. you guys keep exploring down here? Okay. Alright, yeah, Daniel. Yeah. You you come with me then. Alright. Alright, let's look. Keep an eye out for anything that's left behind from us. Okay. okay. There's like a bunch of these bottles around, but like I've never drank any of these stuff. Yeah, I'm keeping a really hey, uh, good eye. Uh, well, I'm up here now, guys, so. Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna go check out. You see anything? I'm gonna go up this way and see what the box is. Okay. All right. All right, I'm keeping my eye down here. Okay, so I'm back into the bathroom. I'm just gonna check very thoroughly if okay. I left any other like toothbrush or anything behind. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, that's the hacker. Oh I think they're gosh. coming. Chad, yeah. the hacker's coming. Oh shoot, okay, hide. We gotta get out of here. Daniel, come on. Come on, Daniel, we gotta hide. They're talking to each other. That's where it was earlier. When I came back. They weren't yeah. there anymore. When I was here, definitely I saw it right here. I had the bag and I put it in the bag, but then the camera saw me. Uh, so I, I, I got scared. I put it back in there. I put it right I put okay. it right underneath this. I marked my spot with this. Alright, so it's gotta be here. Maybe I didn't look good enough. Yeah. Maybe did somebody take it or Maybe the workers were shoveling and they moved dirt over that way or something? Okay. You want to check over there? Yeah, let's check over there. You see it anywhere? No. Maybe... Maybe check, Maybe check inside the house? Yeah, move. Wait, you hear that? Yeah. Wait, that was you? No, I thought I heard something over here. It's coming from right over here. I heard, I heard like some wood. Wood on it. Oh, God! Oh! Oh, so Chad! Oh, what are you doing? Gosh. 
hackers left. They left? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, you can come out now. Okay. Okay. So I saw the hacker guys leave, so they went they went back this way. Oh, can you sneak around? Oh shoot, wait, they didn't leave yet. They're they're right over here. Check it out, check it out. Wait, they're split. Okay, let's go see where they're going. Come on. Okay. okay. Yeah, so one guy went that way, one went That's this way. Of... Why Why did they split up? Did they find something? Did they find something? More DNA? Yeah, I don't know. Did they find more? Did they find I, your two bushes? I think we need to follow them. V, why don't you follow that guy over there, and I'll follow this guy over that way. Yeah, divide and conquer. That's the best way to do right. it. So Chad followed him into this hotel that we're at right now. And so he's he's in there right now, I hope he's okay. So since I'm waiting for Chad, I pulled the Tesla into the hotel's parking garage while I wait for him. Man, Chad has been gone for a while, I hope he's okay. I hope V's okay too, she's all on her own. All right, so something else really weird happened at Utah that day when all the YouTubers were at CVX. As Project Zorgo was forcing all the YouTubers to figure out what these symbols mean, there was something else weird going on. Everybody was finding these pieces of paper with dots on them, and they had numbers, and it was really weird, but I think I might have figured out what is going on here. Everybody somehow found this weird video that said, don't forget to connect the dots. And then there was a GM that flashed on the screen. Now, I mean, we probably know what GM means, right? That's Game Master. And like I said, I don't know what the Game Master is. I worked at Project Zorgo for months, but they never mentioned the Game Master. I don't know who that is. So in Carl and Ginger's video, they found all these pieces of paper and their puzzle spelled out, I am. Makes no sense, right? But then you keep watching other people's videos, like Stephen Scherer, he finds a couple notes too. It spells out, Master. And then as you know in Chad's video, he found a bunch of pieces of paper, it's spelled NOT. And then in Carter Sherry's video, the same thing happened, he found all these little clues, and it's spelled out THE. Anyway, this pretty much happens to every single YouTube that's there, and when you combine everybody's videos together, and everybody's clues together, I'm pretty sure it spells out this. I am NOT Project Zorgo. I am the Game Master. So that kind of proves what I've been saying all along, right? It's, it's two different things. That means there's two evil organizations out there. All right guys, Chad is back. He came out of the hotel. I think he needs my help, so I'm gonna go help him. Ended up getting into the Tesla right here and following the hackers to this hotel. Yeah, I mean, that's great. I mean, they're probably like homeless now after I destroyed everything in their little hideout place, that's, even where they sleep and everything. That's, that's right. Great. You took everything out of that place and yeah. just left it empty, yeah. right? All right guys, so we're gonna be scoping out this hotel, waiting for the hacker to come out of the doors. All right guys, we are approaching the front doors here. We're gonna be scoping this out. I wonder if the hacker had to take his mask off to like check into the hotel. So he doesn't even know we're following him. So maybe we'll see his face. Yeah. All right, we gotta find a good place to hide out here. He's gotta be checking out soon, I would think. All right, Daniel, I think this is a good spot hiding behind the garbage can right here. Yeah, it should be good. I don't think anyone's gonna see us here. Those are the front doors. What do you think this is a good spot to Yeah, just get them low. Okay, still wait, wait. This person's holding a hacker mask in their hands. Look at that. That's definitely a Zorgo mask. I can't see. Oh, shoot. I was trying to see their face. Now they just put the hacker mask on. So they have blonde hair. Okay, get him when he comes out the other side. Oh, oh man. Oh, I, okay, wait. I'm going to follow them to their car. All right. Daniel, let's go. All let's, right. let's go. He's right over there. What the heck? Wait, where's he going? Is that his car? Oh yeah, that's his car. He's getting... I think he's getting to that car. Okay, Dan, Daniel, yeah. we gotta run to our car real quick. Okay. Oh, he's, he's starting up. Okay, let's go to our car. He's still in his car. Where? As you can see, he's right up here. His car's right there. It's that blue one. Oh, he's pulling away, Daniel. Okay, I'm gonna follow him. I don't know where he's going. Where's he going? He's like turning. He's like doing, doing loops. I don't know if he's trying to... Does he know we're onto him? I hope he doesn't know that we're following him. What do you think, Daniel? I don't know, he's, he's driving kind of slow. Where is he going, you guys? Where is he driving to? It's like he's lost. Okay, we're driving through like a neighborhood right now. This is very suspicious. We followed him all night. He drove all the way from California, all the way to Nevada last night. So it was like a four or five hour trip. And I sure hope he doesn't drive for like another four hours because we're gonna run out of electricity in this car pretty soon. Gosh, I wonder where V is at. Yeah, I hope she's okay. Oh, he, he, he stopped. Looks like he's pulling over, guys. I'm gonna stop right up here. 
hope he doesn't see me. What the heck? I think I'm parked back far enough away. Yeah, I think so. Wait, he's getting out. What is he doing? I have no idea what he's doing. Okay. He's like looking around. Okay, he just walked around that corner over there. What should we do? Do we uh, get off on foot and follow him? I, I, we probably should. We shouldn't follow him in the Tesla because I know the Project Zorgo members, they recognize your Tesla very easily. I mean, they stole it. Yes, yeah, true. All, that's so true. Maybe we should just get out and follow him on foot? Yeah, good idea. Let's get out of here. All right, Daniel, let's go. He went right around this corner right up here. See him? Just, I don't see him. Guys, if you see the hacker, let us know. Point him out. Leave a comment below. Oh, there Gosh. he is. Wait. I don't know where he is. He's just walking down the middle of the road, Daniel. Okay. We're losing. He's he's walking really really fast, guys. Daniel, where do you think he's going? I have no idea. I mean, does this place? This is just like a neighborhood. Like what's yeah. he to do in a neighborhood? This is really weird. He, you don't think he knows that he's being followed? Do you? Do you, do you think he's onto us? I don't think so. He's not looking at us, right? He's just walking. All right, there he is. He sees us, Daniel. Yeah, I think so. What is he doing, Daniel? He he looks like he's looking behind all these bushes. He's going behind the bushes. What's? He keeps looking through all these bushes. What the heck? He's, he's it looks like he's looking for something, right? I know when I used to work for Project Zorgo, we always would hide packages for each other in yeah. random locations to pick up. Maybe that's what he's doing. Well, you're the one who hid that um, treasure chest in the bushes, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that was me. I did that. Yeah. So that, that's like part of Project Zorgo's thing, where you're like hiding things for each other in yeah. bushes. Yeah. Just in places that like nobody would suspect, in places that a normal person wouldn't look normally. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. He just went in the bushes again. I'm gonna come up a little closer to him here. Okay, getting a little too close to him. Oh, wait, wait, shoot. Better, wait. What is he doing? He's bending down. He went under these, the bush. There's like a tunnel there. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, he, yes, he got what a, is that? A box or a package or something? Okay. Where's he going now? Okay, I'm gonna follow him some more. He's going through a gate. Stay back to that. Keep following him? Right, yeah, let's go through this gate there. Gosh, where do you think he's going, Daniel? I have no idea. Yeah. Where does this pathway even lead to? I have no idea. I've actually never been over here. Okay, Daniel, he's still <laughs> walking. I, I have no idea where he's going. Let's, um, there's some bushes up there. Let's go okay. hide behind those bushes and keep following him. Yeah. Oh, shoot! I just got Dude, a text message. Why don't you put that on silent? I know, dang it. It was really, oh, he totally heard it. He's looking over here now, man. He is looking. Wait, he got a text message too. Check it out. That's weird, you guys got a text at the same time. Wait, I've, I've, got, I've got PZ4's phone on me. That's, oh my gosh, that, that's what that's, that's what rang? That's what got a text message. This is one of the Project Zorgo members' phone you guys have? Yeah, yeah, How'd we- you guys get this? Oh, look. Is it getting text messages? Yeah. Wait, look, he's getting text messages too. Yeah, it's a group chat. We're all in the same group chat right now. What does it say? Okay, so somebody's talking to him. Somebody said, did you get the toothbrush for the DNA evidence? Dude, there was a toothbrush at our burnt down house yesterday. Oh yeah. V's toothbrush was there. Oh, that's what they were trying to look for, I guess. They're trying to get V's DNA evidence. Oh, he's texting back. He said, no, it's missing. Okay, and then somebody just texted back. Unacceptable, one more mistake and you're terminated. Whoa. Okay, so this guy was supposed to get these DNA evidence, but he didn't get the toothbrush. Yeah, I guess so. Because we took it. We took it. Good thing we took it yesterday. Otherwise, he would have it. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. He's really mad. He just threw everything down. Is he quitting? He took his mask off. Wait. Can you see his face? No, I couldn't see his face. Well, what's okay. He dropped the package too. Yeah, Daniel, you go get the package, okay. and I'll go follow him, okay? All right, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. He's running really fast, guys. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta keep up with him. Oh wait. Okay, stop. Oh, he's really mad. He just kicked that tree or that bush. I don't know if that's. I think it's a guy. It's got kind of long blonde hair though. Yeah, it looks really mad. Where is he going now? Is he going back to his car? 
This car's back this way, I don't know. Guys, who do you think this is? I don't really recognize them. I don't know anybody with blonde hair like that, but if you've seen any other YouTubers or any other hackers in your research, leave a comment down below with who you think that might be with like mediumly long blonde hair. If you've seen their face, let me know. Yeah, they took the mask off, but they had their back turned, so. Okay, guys, he's still right there. Wait a second, is that his car? Yeah, yeah that's his car. Oh, he's still in the car. No, shoot. Oh no, I don't have time to get into the Tesla. I gotta just follow him and hopefully he doesn't drive too far. Okay, he's slowing down. Oh no, wait, he's driving really slow. Does he see me? Okay, right around the corner here. Okay, he's pulling, wait, he's pulling over. I think he's coming to a stop. Wait a second, he's parking right in front of the safe house. I knew this area looked familiar. Is he just camping out here? Wait a second, is he spying on me and V in the safe house? I think what I need to do is I need to go around to the back of the house. I definitely can't go through the front door because he'll see me if I do that. All right, I'm gonna try to go around to the back of the house. Here we go. Okay guys, I've ran all the way around the back side of the house. I've came back around the side, back towards the front. I can't get into the house. There's this really huge wall right here. That's, that's the safe house right up there. And then the hacker guy, his car is right up here. I'll see if, you, see if you guys can see it. Yeah, there's the front of his car. It's just parked right there. The front door is right over here. There's no way I can get in there without him seeing me. So I think the only way in is I think I have to jump up this wall right here. And I'm gonna run and jump. I'm gonna launch off this little mini wall here over these bushes and then fly up that wall. Okay, it's gonna be tough while I'm holding this camera. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you think I can run and jump over these two walls and jump over these bushes, okay? I hope you believe in me. Maybe uh, with enough thumbs up, there'll be good luck and I'll be able to pull it off. All right, let's do this, guys. Give me a countdown, guys. Let's do this, ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh, guys. Totally worked. Oh man, all right, so yeah, I just flew over the wall right here. I don't know if you guys were able to see that because I was running with the camera. Jack, Wait, Jack. Oh, Daniel, what? I'm right up here, dude. Dude, you gotta be careful. The, the, the hacker guy's easily yeah. parked across the street. I saw him, yeah, I just ran and jumped up this wall right up here. Okay. Look, I what? got the package and I got the I got his mask. Nice, awesome. Yeah. Can right. you can you climb up here a little bit? Yeah, just see if you, see if you, can you jump the wall or can you climb up here? Ugh. There we go. Maybe. Yeah, I'll take that hoodie and the mask here. Oh shoot, mask just fell. Here. Thanks, dude. You got the package? Yeah, here's the package right here. I don't know what's in it, but... Oh my gosh, that's really heavy. Dude, yeah, so what do we do? He's just camped out right in front of the house. What, does he know this is your house or something? Does he know I live here? I have no How idea. How would he know that? Yeah, does he know that this is the safe house? Or is oh, he just like, is he just randomly parked there and he doesn't even know? I mean, remember when I was here and the hack, one of the hackers like grabbed me and put me in their car? Yeah. So they're probably suspicious about this house. That you probably think either I live here or you guys live here. I don't know, but they're probably okay. just seeing. Yeah, so what do we do? How do we get rid of them? I think the back door is actually locked, so I don't know if I can even get into the house right now. So we gotta get them to leave so we yeah. can- Yeah, here forever. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, if they're just trying to see if, who lives here. Yeah. We just gotta convince them somehow that nobody lives here. I, I don't know how we're gonna do what, that. What if, what if I put on the hacker mask and the hoodie and walk up to them and be like, hey, I'm scoping this place out. You're, you're drawing too much attention here. Get out of here. Uh, yeah. Do, I mean, you, do you think he'll believe you'll that? you actually talk to him face to face? Yeah, maybe I'll try to muffle my voice. I, I, hope, I hope he doesn't realize it's me, yeah. but he shouldn't, be, he shouldn't know it's me because I'm wearing the mask. Yeah, I think that's, that's, pretty, that's a pretty good idea. Maybe you'll see his face too, because he's not wearing Ooh, the mask. That, yes, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I say go for it. Okay, man. cool. All right, I'm going to keep this camera rolling. I'm going to try to hide it down low, down okay. here. Okay. And I'm going to try to capture his face on camera. I'm going to go up there right now. All right. All right, here we go. Good luck. I'm gonna put on this hoodie and this mask. All right, guys, I've got the hoodie on. I'm gonna put the mask on right here. I hope this fools him. Oh, shoot, he might recognize my hair. I'm gonna put this hood up, cover up my hair. Gosh, yeah, I, I look legit. I look like one of the actual, actual Project Zorgo hackers. Cool. I don't think he'll know it's me. All right, let's go up to the front of the house. Here's the gate. Put the gate here, go up front. There he is. He's in his car. I can see the blonde hair, but I can't see his face. Oh wait, shoot, he just saw me. Oh wait, he's putting he's putting on a mask. Okay. I'm gonna run up there. Hopefully I can fool him here. Project Zorgo. Yeah. Um, I'm already scoping this place out. 
So uh, you're drawing a little too much attention to the house right now. I'm gonna, I need you to leave. Otherwise you might uh, ruin my cover. Okay, well yeah, I was just trying to see who lived there, but you can confirm nobody lives there? As of right now, I have not seen anybody, any of our target channels here, but I'm currently using this house as a, as a base for me to operate out of. This is the neighborhood I'm covering, uh, so I think you need to find a different neighborhood to cover. Okay, sure. Well, thanks for letting me know, so I don't waste my time, okay? Exactly, all right, good luck. And remember, Project Zorgo is watching. Yes, all right. All right, see ya. Okay, guys, I think, yeah, he's pulling away. There, there, all right. There he goes. I think, I think that works, guys. Yeah, he's leaving now, okay, cool. Good, yeah, now he's gone. Okay, that, that was intense. I think I totally fooled him. Hey, Daniel, Daniel, yeah. it's, it's Did safe. It, work? it totally worked. Really, he believed yeah. you? Yeah, I wore the mask, and he totally thought I was a Project Zorgo member. He oh, had no perfect. idea. Good job, all right, cool. So this is a safe house once again. Yeah. I had no idea who that we're here. Yeah, so I told him that I was a Project Zorgo member, that I've been scoping out the neighborhood, and I didn't find any channels in the neighborhood. I think we're safe. I don't think any Project Zorgo members know that we live here in this safe house. Guys, yeah, we, we gotta see what's in that big white box. It was super, super heavy. Mm -hmm. I think something really important to Project Zorgo's plans is in there. But guys, I have no idea where V went. I've been following this one hacker for so long now, and I actually lost him for a little bit, but I actually found him again. So now we're back to tracking him. All right, guys, there's the hacker. I've been like hiding behind these bushes. Oh! I don't think he saw me. What's he doing? What's he looking for? Is he meeting up with someone else? Can't see. Oh, I think I see him. Oh, I think I need to move closer. I can't see him very well. Oh, I just got a phone call. I, I heard you start the phone ringing. I need to get my listening device out. What's he saying? Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Guys, like I'm, I'm gonna go hide here. Z23 is going to do a lot of point animation. Yeah, I mean, did you try getting the, get the, did you try getting the toothbrush? You should go, go to the laboratory, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe what I just heard. Oh my gosh, he's leaving. Oh my gosh, we need to go follow them. What are they doing? They're going into this building? What the heck? Okay. What is this place? Where, where did he go? What's going on? Where's he going? I think he just came out of this place. I just came out of this door. Whoa, it's so dark in here. Where am I? Let me get my flashlight here. Where are we? What is going on? Wait, what is this? Lab rules? Number one, always wear safety goggles and gloves. Number two, do not leave any evidence behind. Number three, do not open the safe unless authorized to do so. What? A safe? There's a safe here? Okay, I gotta find the safe, you guys. All right, let's go see if we can find it. What is this? There's a number here. 971. Oh, I wonder if that might be the code to the safe or something. All right, you guys, this right here, it says Gene F. It has a lot of weird, it's very hacker-related stuff here. What? DNA robots. How to collect DNA? What is, co collect DNA? Let's see here. There's just a bunch of articles here talking about DNA. I gotta find more light source or something. Huh. There's a lab coat here. Wait a minute. Gotta back up here. Whoa, look at all these chemicals. All these beakers, chemistry set. Oh, what is this place? Periodic table, bandages. All right guys, 
I think I'm in a lab right now. It might potentially belong to the hacker that I was following. That's really creepy. Knowing maybe potentially this place is collecting DNA, I feel like I need to put on some gloves and maybe tie my hair up or something because I don't want to leave any of my DNA behind because then they will definitely know that I came in here. Okay guys, I got my gloves on, my hair up. Oh, what is this keypad here? Can you guys see this? I wonder what zone we're in. Red, blue, green. Interesting, oh wait, wait. What was that number that I just found earlier on the board? This one? Oh, that might be it. I'm gonna try this number right here. Nine, seven, one. Nine, seven, one. Anything? Nothing. Nothing's happening. Maybe that's not the right code. I'm gonna keep looking around to see what else is on this lab here. I'm not quite sure what these chemicals are. I don't, I'm not sure if I wanna touch anything. Okay, what about these test tubes? Wait a minute. Is that a toothbrush in there? It is a toothbrush. It's a toothbrush head. Look at this, you guys. Remember how when we went back to my old apartment and they were trying to steal my toothbrush? Look, they're collecting toothbrush from other people. I'm not sure who this belongs to. It's definitely not mine because I don't use this type of toothbrush. Let's get into the light here. Whoa, you guys. Look at this. Wow, can you guys see that? It says... Yeah, that looks like SS. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what SS stands for. All right, let's see what else is in here. This is like a Q-tip. It has RZ on it, on the bottom. Maybe these are initials of DNA of people that I've collected. Let me know in the comments below what you think the letters in the bottom of each of these test tubes stand for. So I know that to collect DNA, people have used this before and they swab inside of their cheek. So I wonder if this is a cheek swab from somebody with the name RZ. All right, let's see what's in this one. You guys, this has hair in it. Okay, they're definitely collecting DNAs from people. You know, this one looks like it says LS, or it actually can be like five, seven, maybe? So maybe they're numbers. You guys let me know, but based on the other test tubes, those are definitely letters though. But let's see, you can, can you guys see hair in here? All right, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm holding this hair right here, and it actually looks like it's black, and then it slowly turns into blonde. It is very, very long though. Well, my hair is, is longer than this. It's not as long as mine, but this is definitely belongs to a girl who has black and blonde hair. Let me know if you guys know who this may belong to. Okay, this is the last test tube here. Let's see what's in it. I can't seem to see anything. It looks empty. Yeah, there's nothing in here. But let's see what the bottom says. Okay, it looks like it's a like a circle and then a triangle. Let me, let me turn it around. Whoa. You guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Can you guys see this right here? Does that, does that look like a V and then a Q? Okay, because my initials, R, V, and Q, and it's empty. Oh my gosh. What if this test tube here was meant for me? They were trying to collect my DNA, and I wonder if the toothbrush was meant to be in here. I really don't want them to collect my DNA. I don't want them after me. You know what I'm gonna do? I, I think I'm gonna pretend to spit in here so they think that it's my saliva. I feel like they're gonna come after me until they fill this up with something. I'm gonna look around the lab here to see if I can find anything to make it look like it's my saliva. Okay, let's see. All these speakers here, well, none of this look like my saliva. Red, blue, green. Oh, this one's clear. Maybe I'm gonna use this clear liquid here and pretend it's my saliva. Carefully transfer this, hopefully. This is nothing dangerous. Okay. Yeah, maybe they'll just think that's my saliva or something and then they can leave me alone. All right, you guys, give this video a big thumbs up right now if you think that was a really good plan. I think that's actually gonna trick them. Let, let's explore some of these chemicals here. This one has like red, blue. Oh wait, there's some safety glasses here. I think the first rule in this lab I saw earlier was to put on safe goggles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on just in case if I accidentally touch or spill any chemicals, my eyes will be protected. You guys know me, I'm kind of clumsy in that way. There's some red chemicals, there's some blue one, and here's a green one. Red, blue, green. Wait a minute, wait a minute, isn't that the same color scheme as the keypad? Yeah, red, blue, green. 
all right, maybe that's a clue. Maybe that's a hint or something. Maybe whoever's working in this lab needs this as a reminder or a hint. Is there anything special about this? Anything underneath? Okay, so there's nothing underneath this flask. This blue one doesn't even look like a chemistry flask. The speaker looks like it's at 150. I'm not quite sure what those are meant. Maybe they're just solutions to extract DNA. Who knows what's going on? Let's see what else we can find in here. Okay. This is like a light green color. There's another green. Does it look like, it might be like Coke or something, Coca-Cola. Looks kind of like urine. Mm. Oh, I always feel bad. All right, you guys, whenever you're in a lab like this, just try to not ever mix any chemicals together because crazy things can happen. Whoa, you guys, look at this. Red, blue, green, all in the same order. And look, they're like connected to each other. That has to be a clue to that keypad somehow. All right, you guys, this test tube here, oh, it looks like it's filled up to the number seven. So this blue one looks like it's at eight, because 10 is right there. Yeah, it's definitely at eight. This line here looks like it's five, so it's one above that, so it's probably six. So it's definitely seven, eight, six. Red beaker, seven, Blue beaker, eight. Green beaker, six. Whoa! Where did that noise come from? There was definitely a noise, you guys. Did it come from here? Anything, anything unusual? Nothing here. <gasps> you guys, you guys, this is open right now. Oh my gosh, what's in here? All right, guys, this is actually pretty high for me. Let's see if I can get my camera up there. I don't know. You guys don't see anything? Uh, uh, okay. Okay, all right. It's just a bunch of paper, so weird. All right, let's see what else is on here. In this cupboard. Gosh. So dumb. Okay, I can almost reach that. Oh, come on. Okay, whoa. Look at this, you guys. It's like a suitcase box, kind of. This must be the safe that they were talking about in the lab rules, you know, in the whiteboard that we first saw when we first came in. Look, there's numbers on them. It's a three-digit number. Can't open this. Wait, wait, wait. Remember that three-digit number that I saw earlier? I wonder what it was. Wait, wait, where is it? Maybe, maybe it's the combination lock for this. Here it is, that 971 number. Let's try this out. 971. Okay, now what? What? It didn't work. 971 is not the combination. You guys just need to remember this for me, okay? 971 is the code that we found in the lab. Just remember that for me. This box here has a bunch of like letters and numbers in it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what these stands for while I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. Let's see, SC11, does this mean anything? TI22, AU79. You know guys, I actually know what this means. When I took chemistry class in school, I know that AU stands for gold and the 79 is a number on the periodic table. This is the element number for gold. I actually saw a periodic table in this lab, so let's see if this reveals some sort of clue. Here, here's the periodic table. AU79 is right here. AU, SC, TI. I have marked all the elements in that box on here. I don't know what to think of this because they all seem to be in like one area right here in the middle of the periodic table. Do you guys have any idea what I can do with this information? Please comment down below right now to help me out. Okay, all right, see, let me see. Maybe it spells something. S-C-T-I, sight, ugh. That doesn't seem like English at all. Or maybe I just need to follow these lines. Let me see if this one, this grouping here, kind of looks like a zero or a rectangle, or maybe it's an O. Interesting, maybe, maybe I'll just color that in. This is actually definitely looking like this is 
a zero or an O or something. But I think we're on the right track here by coloring this in. Let's color in the rest of the squares and see what happens. All right, guys, this is definitely the code to something. It's 206, so I think I'm gonna try it on the keypad. Maybe that will open this door or something because this door has been closed the whole entire time. Maybe it's the code to get in. So it's 206, nothing. All right, let's try it on the safe. Two, zero, six. All right, this must be it, you guys. One, two, three, slide. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Alarm's going off! What do I do now? Gosh, I gotta get out of here! Oh my gosh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm gonna grab the safe though. Thank you Project Zorgo members for helping us figure out the Doomsday Date Passcode. Many of you successfully decoded it was Clock Tower 2018. The first person to decode it was Shivaraj Banerjee. To claim your reward, leave a comment below with a way for us to contact you. Many of you have already figured out that the Doomsday Date will take place in November of 2018. If you would like to know the exact date, call this phone number 7029070653. I look forward to receiving your phone call. And always remember, Project Zorgo is watching. <laughs>